this is a very special video to me because it's an organization that is very, very close to my heart. ECO, which is an organization for Christian LGBTQ plus people. And in this video, we meet one of our employees, Anna Karin. I'm Anna Karin and I'm 51 years old and I'm from here from Gothenburg and I have worked here at ECO since 2013. And uh, ECO is an organization for LGBTQ Christian persons. We, we work with uh, education in churches and uh, also support LGBTQ Christian people in talking groups and um, we have lectures and so on. We also function as a community. Before Anna Karin started working for ECO, she found her way there, like many people sadly do, by breaking up with her former church. I was going to a church, a uh, Pentecostal church. I was quite involved with the youth and uh, the choir and so on. I was uh, very much uh, in, engaged in, in, in the community. And uh, I was around 35, then I thought about coming out because I have thought for it for a bit, but I didn't have a relationship, so I, I, I thought I, I didn't have to come out. And then I, I, I fell in love with, with a person, so a woman, and uh, I thought, oh, now it's then I have to be open with that I'm a lesbian. This was at a time when the Swedish government was passing a new law of marriage equality, which finally allowed same-sex couples to get married. Anna Karin was at choir practice one day when this happened. There was a list so going around in the choir. It, it says uh, something like that the stop marriage equality, a marriage should have to be between one man and one woman. And I, I signed it because I didn't want, I, I did, I did, I, I, I just was totally blocked and, and uh, I, I signed it and then I felt so very, very, very confused and, and angry at myself for not standing up for myself and for other people. And because of this, she also heard what her choir friends thought about the subjects. People that I liked and sang next to expressed their sadness about the law and that we as Christians had to stand up for our faith and stop the, the law. And then, to, to make a long history short, I, I talked to my pastor and we had about three talks and we both thought that the best way for me to grow in my faith wasn't in that congregation. And that's when Eko entered her life. Then I saw an, an advertisement uh, from Eko and I contacted them and uh, went to the Mass, Rainbow Mass. There was only men, maybe 20 years older than me. So, so I, I didn't thought that we could have so much in common because I, I was quite nervous and I hadn't so many gay friends, no LGBT friends at all. <laughs> but I, I started to listen to them and suddenly I, I was involved with the youth group. The years passed and Anna Karin started working for ECO, which she does up to this day. She does a little bit of everything for ECO. She chats with a lot of people and support them, whatever they may be facing in their church community, or their coming out, or their mental health, stuff like that. She also travels to different churches, where she helps with education regarding LGBTQI+, or queer theology, she helps curate conversation when different congregations start discussing marriage equality or other LGBTQI plus related issues. She also helps organize events that are held for ECO's members. A lot of masses. People come together and celebrate the mass together and it's a social thing and it's a spiritual thing. I think it's an important meeting place also to build community. There is a reason that these meeting points specifically for queer Christians are important. 
there is two strong identities, the LGBTQ thing and the Christian thing. And it's not so very important how LGBTQ you are or how Christian you are. The main thing is that if you feel at home and can relate to these two identities in some way, it's totally okay. There is some LGBTQ persons who don't know exactly what their belief is and they are very welcome. <laughs> and I think also that we have a lot of Christian allies. Eco gathers people that has a wide variety of experiences when it comes to the relationship with the church. Some of us go to churches today, me for example, that I can fully participate in. And there is a community there also that I feel at home in, but that have taken me almost uh, 12, 13 years to come to that. And I think that ECHO is uh, a bridge between persons who have left churches and maybe also have been forced to leave because they couldn't participate in the ways they want to. I think it's important to take the sorrow, the, the anger, all, all the negative feelings people have when they come here. Sort of help each other out to deal with it and maybe at some years or so have, have your community, spiritual community in Echo before you have to deal with the church again because it's hurtful when you have been forced to leave and it's hurtful also that sometimes it just become quiet so nobody actually mark that you are away. You can have that feeling at least. Yes, um, sadly many of us have a difficult relationship to the church. But Anna Karin thinks that if you find yourself at home in a church there is something special. I, I think that in, in a free church that is intentionally open you can experience a, a whole lot of love. In society, at the best, you can be treated like everybody else. So it's a difference also between society and a community. So what is Anna Karin's dream for the future of the church? <laughs> Actually, my dream is that we could have no boundaries, no, no limits, because all people are people. We shouldn't have to have criteria for who you could be as a leader. Uh, it's diverse, is good. We, we are people, but we are always also uh, unique, because no, no one could be a leader like me or like you. The church message to the people, to all people, is that there is a God and that God is love and that Jesus is our brother and we could follow him. I think that you can only do that as yourself. You couldn't do it as someone else. So I think it's, it's the core of the gospel that you could be near God as yourself. And that's the message I want to to be heard in the church.